We want to explore logarithm laws, and uh, the first thing I want to make you aware of is that logarithms are just exponents. So the logarithm laws are uh, different versions of exponent laws that we already know. So let's let's go through the exponent laws. If you take uh, something like a to the m times a to the n, you're multiplying the same base here, then the exponents just add. So it's the same thing as a to the m plus n. Um, if you do something similar and divide like bases, then you subtract the exponents. And if you take a base and raise it to another exponent, then you multiply the exponents and you get a to the m times n. So these are the exponent laws. Let's look at the corresponding logarithm laws. The first logarithm law says if you have multiplication inside a log, such as log, and you could use any base, let's use base a since that's what we've got over here, of um, x times y inside, then when you, when you want to split the x and the y, you get two different logs, log base a's, log base a of x, and then that becomes plus log base a of y. So in other words, the exponent here becomes a, a sum of two different exponents over here. Okay, and similarly this one, if you have log base a of x divided by y, then those separate into two logs by subtraction. And finally, if you have, uh, let's say, log base a of x to the y power, then this exponent inside becomes multiplication outside, so you get y times log base a of x. So uh, a good way to think about this is this exponent inside the log comes down to the front and becomes multiplication by log base a of x. So let's sum up the logarithm laws one more time. This first one, uh, you could sum up by saying multiplication inside a logarithm becomes addition outside a logarithm. Division inside is the same thing as subtraction outside and exponent inside is the same thing as multiplication outside. So down here I've sort of listed the order of operations, exponents at the top, then multiplication, division on the next level down, and addition, subtraction on the next level down. So um, exponents inside drop down on the order of operations and become multiplication outside. So when you're going inside to outside, you go down the ladder. And multiplication inside, this first law becomes addition outside, so multiplication drops down to addition, and division drops down to subtraction. Now if you go from outside to inside, you're going up the ladder, so multiplication becomes exponent, addition becomes multiplication, and subtraction becomes division. So all the logarithm laws are basically are shifting up and down this ladder of order of operations.